Hey there everybody, welcome to a special unboxing in the Casina Casa, no more teeny tiny New York apartment where you feel so small you can't feel the box. I can spin all the way around this room, Ian. Look at that. Look at that. I'm trying to be a dick. I'm sorry. Alright, so we have two unboxings we're going to do today. We have the DC Funko Powered Legion of Collectors. This is similar to the Marvel one that uh, you've seen Ian do on our Facebook page. And then we've also got the Superhero Stuff Hero Box. Both of these are Batman v Superman related. That's why we're doing them together today, a week before the movie opens. I got my awesome Batman shirt um, open, so let's do this one. This one came a little bit, a, a few weeks ago. Um, so everything on both these boxes are already opened. That way you don't hear the crinkling and stuff. I only got the uh, Superhero Stuff one today. So, well, let's go through the Funko one. Legion of Collectors. This is 30 bucks. Comes out every two months. Um, so if you're a loot crate person, it's the same price all year round, except you get a little bit, uh, you get less boxes, actually. So hopefully they'll kind of, as these become successful, they'll start to uh, speed things up and things like that. But let's get into it. If you've seen the Marvel videos that Ian's done, you kind of already know what's in here. Um, they kind of stick to the same format. So inside, it's got a nice... Um, you know, background. All of these are Batman v Superman graphics. Nothing from the comics direct directly. This is all probably promotional art. Um, so inside, you've got the Wonder Woman patch right here. Pretty cool. I don't know where I'm going to put it personally. And a Superman pin that'll probably go on the side of my cube wall. Um, if you've got a messenger bag or something you rock going to and from work all the time, these be great on your stuff. So once you open that, you've got the t-shirt. If you've seen the Marvel t-shirts from those boxes, it's pretty similar. Um, you know, Batman, Superman facing off in a luchador poster. Um, hopefully future t-shirts are a little bit better. I don't, I'm not too crazy about the design. I think they could do something totally original. They've got a lot of great artists over there, I'm sure. Um, but for a first iteration, kind of sticks with the stuff they've done with Marvel in the past. Uh, it's not too surprising. It's not too disappointing either. So, every box comes with an exclusive comic. This one is Batman Superman number 5. This one came out years and years ago. This is probably the original New 52 run. This is the sideways issue with Brett Booth, where you open it like this, widescreen, so to speak. Um, they fight each other, got Metallo in there, and uh, I believe the end of the storyline, they start fighting Mongol. Pretty good storyline if you haven't checked it out already. Exclusive cover, Legion of Collectors, if that means anything to you at all. Um, so, the real reason I bought this box, let's get this out of the way so you can see my cool shirt, is this exclusive armored Batman Funko, wait a second, oh, oh, that's right, exclusive Batman armored Funko Pop, here's the box, here's the Batman, he's pretty sweet, I really like him a lot, um, you know, I, I just love the Dark Knight Rise, or du not Dark Knight Rise, Dark Knight Returns theme of all the Batman Superman stuff. So anytime I see a Batman armored something, I'm probably going to reach out and buy it. Don't tell my wife she's behind the camera. Okay, so you got that. Then you got a two-pack of Dorbs. Oh, wait. They're already unboxed. You got Aqua, Aquaman, if you can see him really good. He's kind of cool and cute. He's got his little trident over here. His thing spins. The trident spins a little bit. That's about it. Go on your desk kind of thing. And we've got a green Superman. That is not Green Lantern. That is the Man of Steel right here. He is green. I don't know why. I guess so he matches Aquaman. We'll talk about Dorbs in a little minute. So uh, all in all, not too bad a haul. Um, I think I'm going to stick with this a little bit longer. Give her you know, two or three more boxes before I make a decision whether I'm going to keep it or get rid of it. Um, for right now, Loot Crate every month I think delivers a little bit more variety in terms of what the what the items are, a patch, a pin, a t-shirt. Um, I would like to get a t-shirt probably most of the time and then everything else you could switch around for me. I could care less really about the patch or the pin. Um, so that is the Funko Power DC Legion of Collectors. So uh, you might see another one. The next one is DC TV themed. So think Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, all those shows. Um, you know what, it would be funny if they threw in some Constantine stuff from last year now that it's canceled. That would be interesting. All right, let's go through the uh, Superhero Stuff Hero Box. Now, this one is not a subscription service. You can go to SuperheroStuff.com. Uh, they're friends of CGS and therefore friends of Comic Timing. They're based out of um, Pennsylvania, right near the CGS guys. You can go to their website. They have great stuff over there. 
But it, I've always wondered what their hero boxes were, and I got an email, because I've ordered something from them before, about a special Batman v Superman themed hero box. And they were coming out in March, a little bit before the movie, so I said, get me one of those, please. Uh, normally, if you just buy a regular character themed hero box, they'll ship it pretty, once they put it together. This one, and I think there's a Daredevil one available now, based off, you know, if you're excited about the Netflix series that comes on this Friday, um, you can get that as well. I'm not sure when that ships, but I know that the Batman v Superman one has shipped, and uh, they might have a few left, I have no idea. But the idea behind the hero boxes thing from superhero stuff is that everything in them is supposed to be totally random. So if you're a Batman person and you want to continue to get Batman stuff, or Superman, or Green Lantern, they have Flash stuff, um, you can order multiple hero boxes throughout the year and get totally different stuff each time. So I think that's kind of neat. So first thing out of here, packing slip, let's get this out of the way. Uh, first thing out of the box, Batman v Superman, here's the armored Batman Dorbs. You remember those guys from the other one? Here's the armored version. He's actually in multiple colors, not just one. So that's kind of cool. Here's the whole line of them if you want to collect them. I've been kind of looking for these in stores. I mean, Target, Best Buy, things like that, Toys R Us. I've not seen them, so I don't quite know where you would go to get these. Maybe your local comic shop. I'm sure you can find them online if you want to get some more. Um, they're really cutesy. I kind of like the Funko Pops themselves a little bit better because they're a little bit less cute. Kind of straddles the line between menacing and cute, you know what I mean? Um, these are interesting. Socks. Everybody needs socks. These would make my third and fourth pair of geek socks. I guess I need to start wearing them. I have some BB-8 socks from Loot Crate. Um, I usually stick with black, but these are pretty neat. So Batman is uh, straddling your shin. And Superman, it's like you're wearing a little super suit. Got Superman on the bottom on this one. It's kind of neat. So socks. Now, this is what I was excited about. I don't need to go and buy a shirt for the premiere next week because I've got a brand new Batman v Superman TV or a TV shirt, T-shirt, whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty cool. Um, standard one. So if there is one that's just the bat symbol, I might go buy that too. Uh, what else do we got in here? Here we go. This is a projection pen. It projects the Batman logo with them fighting on the wall and as a pen. Haven't opened this yet, so I have no idea uh, if this is going to work or not. So we will find out. It, it doesn't even look like it holds that much ink. Um, this is a card decal. Batman and Superman, Son of Krypton, Bat of Gotham. The actual decals on the back, you can't see. It's probably really washed out. Um, so that's pretty neat. I don't know if I'll put this on my car. I don't normally stick stickers on my car. I'm not that type of person. You might be. Uh, let me know. Maybe I'll mail it to you. This is cool. Um, a Batman Superman key ring. It's kind of heavy. So if this was your only item on your key ring, you might want to get this. Um, if you have a bunch of other stuff, like I've got a knife on my keys, so it kind of adds to the weight. So I might trade that out for this for a little bit and rock it going on. Uh, Batman lanyard. This is pretty cool. I might actually rock this to work because i got to wear my badge and stuff at work. Um, got a bat symbol all the way over it. Uh, got a little tag, and it's got a little rubber bat symbol here um, that's uh, attached to it. You can use this. I have a special badge holder that I'll probably swap uh, this out for, but that's pretty cool if you want to keep your you know, bat tag on the back or something like that. What else we got? Here is a Batman Superman pin. So you can stick this on your messenger bag, on your shirt. I'm going to stick it on my cue wall with all my other geek pins. This is in here. Uh, this is a little weird. It's a kryptonite pet rock. It's not even a certificate. It's just a thing that says my pet rock. It's kryptonite. Okay. And last but not least, you can't order a box of stuff from superhero stuff without a comic book. So I got this one. This is... Uh, Action Comics number 593. That's Superman kissing Big Barda with uh, Mr. Miracle in the background looking shocked. Uh, condition looks pretty nice. About fair, I guess. I'm not a comic book grader, so I don't really know for sure. But I've never read this issue, so I will definitely crack it open to take a look. And then you've got some coupons and other things like that. So that is the Hero Box. All in all, this one was, I want to say it was about 50 bucks. Um, so not a bad one. They had an upper tier that was 70 
and I didn't want to do that one because I thought that was a little too expensive. My wife's making faces at me right now. Um, so I went a little nuts on Batman Superman stuff, but that's how excited I am for this movie. So I am ready for next week. I have stuff to wear. I have stuff to write with. I have stuff to look at. Um, Batman Superman opens up next Thursday night if you're going to opening night, Friday weekend, Easter weekend. So go check it out before you go collect your eggs and things like that. And stay tuned for Comic Timing. Ian is actually going to go see it, although he hated Man of Steel. He's going to go with Brandon, who betrayed me on the infamous Man of Steel episode, if you remember. So be sure to listen to the review episode probably the week following Batman and Superman opens. I will be the only one that probably likes it. So if you're listening to me argue the merits of the movie against everyone else, hopefully we'll get another person on that likes it. Maybe that would be nice. So as always, thank you. Continue to listen to Comic Timing Podcast. And uh, we'll see you later from the Casina Casa. Bye-bye.